going on guys welcome back to the red beard saga it's that time of year september the first it's the day before opening day of dove season here in georgia i'll do one little final walk through if you follow along this summer with these dove field episodes This will be the last one. We're gonna walk down here. I was gonna walk down there and flush them up, but something flushed most of them up. I'm sure there'll still be a few on the ground. We'll take one last look at things. And uh, I'll probably include a few clips of the last week or so of us mowing and getting ready. But, uh, Let's go down here and see if we see any birds real quick. There's not a, just no whole lots of birds this year. But I think there's somewhere around 40 or 50. They're hard to count. They could be more than that because they're just coming and going. So some of the neighboring shoots, there's a couple within a mile or two miles from here that I know of. They get to shooting. We'll probably bounce birds around. I'm pretty sure them birds is all visiting the same two or three fields. So let's go see what we can scare up real quick. It's about 6.30 in the evening right now. Lots of them in that in them trees right there. Even on the power line. anymore still on the ground. The day before yesterday we mowed these volunteer millet strips. They wasn't quite all ripe but there was enough ripe seed there. to interest them because they've really been a landing in the other strip on the other side. The last day or so we've got some strips mowed in the sunflowers with the bush hog and some of these I actually took an old riding mower and it done pretty good. Plenty of sunflower seed.
we got a few birds. I think it's gonna be me, my dad, <clears throat> my buddy Dwayne, and my buddy Zach. We ain't got but like two acres right here, so I think four of us ought to be able to cover it. Probably, we have had up to about six or seven people. Had a couple up there and on the other side, kind of watching the yard and stuff. But really ain't big enough to have more than about three people down here. And what we've planted, because those places where you can't shoot back that way, a couple of houses with this concentrator shot this way away from the houses and stuff I always sit on this end and I've got less shots than the people the couple people that sits further down but I just do that because I'm the well I grew up here so I'll leave them the spots where they have the most area to shoot. Least likely to sprinkle my dad's house or the neighbor's house. Rather it be me that if it, I messed up, then it is one of my friends, so. We're gonna get out of here. I done scared them off. They wasn't none on the ground. They had been down on the ground several times and flushed. But, uh. I said, I'm gonna include a few clips of us maybe knocking some of this down. So y'all just stay tuned. Thank y'all for watching this summer once again here at the Redbeard Saga. It's been it's been fun bringing y'all these videos. It's all it's all been in preparation towards tomorrow, September second, the opening day. 
gonna try to get my main video camera charged up my batteries and my GoPro see if I can't rig up some kind of way where I can get a little action a little of the hunt action on film tomorrow where I can bring it to y'all to bring closure to this dust field series so <clears throat> like I said thank y'all for joining me don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell follow along for more we'll see what kind of adventure we go on next so y'all take it easy